Hey guys, it's Barry. Um, I don't usually show you guys uh, a lot of what I do when I work out of town, but uh, this job was fairly interesting, so I thought I'd show you a little bit of it. Um, currently in uh, the Rocky Mountains in Colorado. Um, it's warmed up now to a balmy about 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it's been pretty chilly, but it is what it is. Um, I can show you a little bit of what I'm doing. Uh, there's some stuff I'm going to have to fuzz out because a lot of it's proprietary. But, I don't know, I just figured you might enjoy seeing a little bit of what I actually do uh, when I'm not building houses and making artwork. So, come along for the ride. So this is the uh, oxygen generator I was telling you guys about before that we're uh, doing the final fabrication for out here in the field instead of back at the shop. This is a vent hood cover, or a vent hood, I guess you could call it, because it's covering a vent. I can't talk straight, it's really cold. Uh, so, just getting the last couple of pieces put on. We had ordered this part, um, but the one that we got sent to us, it's horrible. It, it needs to be a custom size to fit that hole anyway, so I'm just fabricating it uh, on site. It's a lot better. Uh, it's a balmy negative one this morning Fahrenheit Negative nine with the wind chill Let's see if we can get the truck started This diesel's always done a pretty good job But it's cold Glow plug do its thing a little bit longer. Not liking this, man. Ah, it's alive. I ended up just turning the camera off because I kept having to cycle it over and over and over with the glow plugs. Nope, nope, nope. Diesel does not like cold. I should have plugged it in last night. Yeah, it'll work now. I always have to take all my batteries uh, inside the hotel room with me at night so they'll even function when I get out here in the morning. If I left them in the uh, truck overnight when it's negative whatever, I wouldn't have much power in the morning. But inside this container we've had a little heater set up at night just to try to keep it at least reasonable apparently the uh, power got reset last night and turned the heater off so it's negative I don't know two or three degrees inside the container so uh, yeah they got to do a bunch of programming and stuff on one of the um, computer systems that are in there that ain't happening right now I'm gonna wait till the uh, the heater gets going long enough to actually heat it up enough so they can function. We've only got temporary power set up right now, so it's a bit chilly. But I'm working outside right now anyway, so it don't matter. To 
me. <laughs> Have any idea when the power is going to come on? Are they trying to do that today? That you know mm, of? No, they're supposed to get a breaker today. Okay. They, uh, that's uh, what we talked about. Okay. We talked about they're supposed to get a breaker today for this this yeah. day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be awesome if we could get get it turned on and get yeah. us power today. Because the uh, the heater reset last night. It was you know negative whatever in here this yeah. morning. So not a whole lot we can do, and it's like that. Yeah, inside all the instrumentation and stuff. So. Yeah, they were supposed to get a breaker today for this. Okay, that would be fantastic. Okay, so I got out of the cold, which is good. So I got these little driver modules. Got to get installed onto this. So got to make a couple little brackets for it since uh, it didn't come with any. So this is one of the big control boards that I can't show you. Um, but anyway, I uh, needed to put these two little modules on the back of it. <laughs> I accidentally drilled through the sticker, so I'm going to have to replace that. But it's so cold in here that it's not coming off without tearing it up. So once it warms up, I'll fix that too. So it's finally warmed up to a balmy 5 degrees. So that... uh hood I put together yesterday, I've got to get it painted. So it's finally warm enough to actually paint it. You want to say hi to the entire internet? Hey! This is Barry, also. He liked the name so much he took it from me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm older. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> That's awesome. So we're making a uh, box to put the um, antenna on the outside of this thing so we can communicate. So I'm just putting together a little box and slap it on the outside and wire it up.
It is really getting cold. Probably should have had on my jacket. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm going inside. Well, that's it for today. I'm cold. The sun's going down. So the guys are just closing up one of the last trailers, one of the other oxygen generators that we're uh, building a new one, a replacement for. That's the temporary one until the new one's done. So, back at it tomorrow. So when I was a kid, I actually lived in Colorado for a while. And uh, one thing they used to say all the time is if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes and turn around. So there's a, uh, there's a big storm moving in. It's six degrees right now. It's supposed to drop down to about negative 12 or so. Um, so we're just gonna try to bang out as much today as we possibly can before that system gets here. It's supposed to be like 24, 25 mile an hour winds. Yeah, it's almost like I'm up on the top of a mountain or something. So the set of keys we had for the lock for the main power for the building went missing. So I have my other set of keys here. Okay, we're in. Want me to turn it on? No. No, okay. <coughs> Stupid, fluffy, frozen water falling from the sky. Oh. Had to go get my whole saw kit. Not just half of it, but the entire kit, the whole saw kit. <laughs> Snow stopped, sun came out. There's another wave. The snow coming though, we looked at the radar. So we gotta try to get a bunch of stuff outside done. So today is Sunday, we obviously needed to take a day off, so we're just going to go wander around the area a little bit to check out some sites. So we stopped at this uh, lake, it's all frozen, there's a bunch of fishermen guys down on there, we're going to go check it out and uh, see if we can get into it today, should be fun. See, I don't mind it. They finally got us powered down to the site. We were up, we've been up here since Tuesday, and we were in a 20-foot sea-going container with no heat for oh, that's since, nice. since Friday. That'd be a little on the chill side. Yeah, it was 10 degrees in there the, when the mornings we'd come. In. Oh. <laughs> it's balmy out here compared to that. Yeah, it's nice. That was cool. Never done any I've ice. Never seen that. Yeah, I've never done any ice fishing at all. Yeah. That's cool. Sometimes I fish around for some ice in my freezer trying to 
fill my glass up, but that's about it. So this is, uh, what trail is this, John? Uh, Continental Divide Trail. Continental Divide Trail. It's pretty neat. 9,200 feet. Yeah, we're at 9,200 feet, and uh, I know for a fact we have to be that high because there's no air up here. Oh. See, where I live, we're a lot lower. I get up here in the mountains, man, I can't catch my breath. But that's cool. Because when I go back home, I feel like Superman. So I really don't like winter, but doing this once or twice, you know, every decade, it's kind of cool. Air. <sighs> Should have brought an oxygen mask. Stop on the trail get us some. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, we're not making it yet. Yeah. Whew. You do a little side hustle. Yeah. Sell an oxygen tank out of it. Well, that was deceptively deep. Goodness. I'm not prepared for that. Snow. Snowshoeing. So we were just standing in this little meadow talking for a second, just enjoying God's nature and uh, we realized that the trail behind us, those are snowshoe tracks. We ain't got no snowshoes on. And if you look, oh that's not very deep. Yeah, it's a little deep. So I'm gonna try to stay on the track. <laughs> that was fun. Oh my gosh. So this morning when we got up, uh, it was 17 below zero Fahrenheit. And uh, got to the job site now, it's about 13 below. So it's warmed up a little bit. It's cold enough that my tool bags crunch when I bend the fabric. Everything's frozen solid. So I just need to verify a few measurements on the outside of the uh, container and get a bracket mounted for the uh, HVAC system. It's getting delivered later today. So I'm trying to keep ahead of it. Oh my gosh. My drill's frozen.
can I tilt back about two inches? Uh, let's, let's see what he's got. Let's, okay. We're just going to have to manhandle it. Push it my way. Watch your fingers. Watch your fingers. Yeah, I'm good. So straight okay. my way. Okay, coming to you? Yes. Oh, good. Okay, push it my way. Coming to you. Okay, ho, hold it. Hey, ho. Not yet, hold tight. Okay, tilt back. Okay, tilt back a little bit. It's gonna raise it. Come on yeah, back. I know. Okay, ho, oh. oh, oh, that's actually good right there. Just documenting everything. I'll fuzz your faces if you don't like it. Yeah, man. Yeah. Okay, let's tilt it away from the wall. Let's yeah. think about this. When we lift it up. We're going to be holding all the weight, so let's find something that we can put under the back. Hold, hold there. Or like, smack on the money lined up. That's what we wanted. Yep. How's that look, John? Okay, hang on. It ain't no fall now, Bear. Yeah. Well, I would have loved to have done that on both sides. That would have been nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, but it lined up with the, the outside yeah. rib instead of the inside. Yep. I just sort of stood there staring at it for about 10 minutes, like, <laughs> now what? <laughs> Need some backup? Um, I just need that five more times. Yeah, I got you. All right. So the sun went down and it got really cold. I'm doing the final seals on this thing. This was a pain in the butt to get in place. But we did it. Just getting the temporary unit that was in the back there prepped to move back to uh, its home. And I should have worn my jacket outside because it's really, really cold. So after we got everything cleaned up, we did training for the guys that are actually going to be running the uh, system out there. Um, so I'm done. I uh, hope that was an interesting little glimpse into what I'm doing for a living right now anyway. I just sort of do whatever I can to make a dollar. <laughs> so. Right now I'm in the Denver airport, about to go jump on a plane and go home. We drove out uh, to Colorado, uh, but I'm taking a flight back so I can get back in time for some stuff I've got to do this weekend. So, worked out well. Thanks for watching.